Greetings brothers and sisters, it is Friday the 25th of November and the time is 24 minutes after 3 p.m. It's the first day of Kislev, the year 5783 after creation. Right brothers and sisters, I just want to recap with what's happening in the world. You know, as I mentioned in the video before this, King, it was titled King Charles visits uh, the South African president is the first head of state to visit and it is a bit the worrying and perturbing for me. It's not, it's not sitting well with my spirit. And I know what's, what's happening, what this uh, numero, uh, I call it, uh, you know, for strikes on YouTube, numero agenda in Genesis, uh, ele is it 11? Yeah, uh, Genesis 11. The, the one world when you want to you build a tower. And, you know, also when po this was the whole demonic uh, 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 ceremony for the opening of the, of, of, in Birmingham, was done in the presence of King Charles. And now, this, uh, my uh, South African, the South African president is now uh, the first visitor. And you know, the Bible says knowledge will be going to and fro. And now, as I mentioned, that the enemy has thousands of years start, five, seven, eight, three years start ahead of us. Right? Ahead of us. So he's rewritten maps, divided. He's about dividing and conquering. That's how the enemy, he has to separate you from the herd. The, uh, in Genesis 2 verse 10, it says, the, the um, onwards, it says, uh, the whole land of Ethiopia. And uh, recently the Lord is showing me truths. You know, when, when I got, when I got saved, um, uh, uh, let's, let's, this is why you need to be saved because this is what happened to me. There has to be a demonstration of the kingdom of God in your life, through your life for others to see that the kingdom of God is real. Through the darkness, the light shall penetrate. And this is how the light penetrated to me through a two minute uh, 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 WhatsApp video that was sent to me. There, John 3, there was a, this is why we need to be saved and born again and delivered from all, uh, 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 if you were by, possessed by, by the devil, by his, li his lies. You won't know. A fish does not know that it is in water. The same way you won't know that you, like for, in, for example me, I did not know about spiritual warfare and possession whether you belong to the kingdom of god or not not is darkness you are open fodder for evil to enter your life right so there was a man of the pharisees named nicodemus a ruler of the jews the same came to jesus by night and said unto him rabbi we know that thou art a teacher who come from God, for no man can do these miracles, healing miracles, that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I have a testimony for that. It's in the videos. You'll see it labeled as a uh, name, a uh, personal testimony of how, what happened here. Yeah. With these two verses. The next verse is verse 5. So verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him. How can a man be born when he is old? This is now the second birth that we busy with. Born again. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Except a man be born of water and of spirit. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. I was baptized and that night. I entered. That was the first time I stood. The first time I stood. The second. The, uh, 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 it's in the testimony. Okay. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee. He must be born again. Now when I got saved and born again. And delivered from that. Unknowing spirit that I knew was in me. My whole life. Th 35 years I think he was with me. Yeah. 35 years. Um. I got saved, I walked the first time, I walked out of the church and I stood at the doors and I looked at the trees and I said, why does this look so different? Why do the trees look different? 
And for the first time in my life, I hear the Lord speak to me these words. He has to use the words to confirm it's Him. For we walk, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's why I said, why does this look different? And from that moment, I believed that I walked in faith. And I still do. And then the Lord said to me, Believe not what I what you see, what you see in front of you. I will raise you up in the name of the Father. In line with Scripture. And he says to me in that moment, with his voice audible, 2 Corinthians 5.17, it is directly opposite. These two verses are highlighted here. The yellow one, there. Therefore, 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And from that moment I knew and I had to, it was a gigantic cost and I let go because I know I'm with the Lord. I'm in, I'm, I, I feel new. I've, I've been delivered. I, there's nothing that can compare to this moment. And I had to rewrite and the Lord is showing me now through this flag. He's showing me uh, uh, things to come. And I, I, um, I saw this, the Holy Spirit show, showed me this video. Huh. Where, uh, it's an old map. And it pointed out this place in South Africa. That could be, or I believe this is possible. Because the Lord is saying, he is going to reveal truth. Knowledge will go to and fro. Not internet knowledge. Not that kind of knowledge. He's talking about truth. When the Bible speaks, knowledge is talking about truth. Because God reveals everything. He made us in His image. So that image, that truth is being hidden from us. So um, He showed me this. Uh, there's a place in the east, it's on the east side, of, on the southern coast of Africa. There is these rivers. They go right through across the whole land of Ethiopia. You must understand the Genesis 2 verse. This is what I'm saying. And the Lord is revealing this through visions to me. And in my life, He's taken me to places and things have happened in these places and I cannot, un <laughs> I did not know that the Lord is showing me these things. So I, uh, I know uh, we just came from John chapter 3. So the Lord showed me this place. Uh, uh, Port St. John's in South Africa. I got stuck at this place. A supernatural miracle signs and wonders happened the first time I visited this place. It is an amazing place. And the Lord is pointing that they are saying that the Garden of Eden, I was like, I just sat there and I said, you know, I take everything with a pinch of salt, but Lord, Something happened that I'll never forget in my whole entire life happened at New at Port St. John's. I got stuck on a road trip there with a family and everything in a big bus. And uh, there was strange attack from the enemy came and it just went on. But the Lord was clearly showing and I had to overnight there and uh, my mother had that, you know, it's so embarrassing. My mother with visitors and everything. She took the dirt, they, they threw, the, threw away the food and my mother collected the food out of the bin. And that night, we were stuck in the middle of nowhere and they all praised my mother for digging out the food out of the bin. But it was still clean in packets and stuff and in bowls and, you know, we were on holiday. And I sat there and the Lord showed me this and I said, Lord, could there be any truth in this? Because I know the enemy's got thousands of years of, of lies and deception ahead of us. He could have erased. Look there, even in Alexandria, the library. They burnt all the libraries down. That could, be, could have had the true documentations of maps, the original maps of Africa. 
Alléluia.